I don't know what makes a great rock and roll photograph. What I think makes the best kind of rock photographs is almost intangible. It captures what the performer is or their essence. Being there when something happens and taking picture when somebody's doing something that looks cool. My name is Stephen Cohn and I'm a photographer. What got me interested in rock photography was going to concerts as a kid and seeing the photographers there up in front of the front row and wanting to be that guy. Early on, I didn't have any sort of access and I would uh, bring my camera to concerts. Sometimes I was technically allowed to, sometimes I was not technically allowed to, but I would make pictures then. And sometimes when you have to evade security, it brings a certain element where you make a great photograph. Now, in recent years, I've been working for publications who assign me to go shoot concerts. And right there, you get a photo pass and they let you shoot pictures, which is what I always wanted to do back in the old days. When I'm right up front trying to get pictures at a concert, I'm often so concentrating on trying to capture that moment that I don't really necessarily know what's going on at the concert. For instance, I was shooting Brian Wilson once and I was able to shoot the first three songs. I remember shooting it and then later I had tickets to the show and right before the encore, I said to my friend, oh, I hope he does Love and Mercy. And uh, they said, you idiot, that was the second song he did. And I didn't even realize it because when I'm shooting, sometimes I just don't even realize what songs they're playing because I'm trying to get that shot. There's a rush from doing it, but sometimes I have to unattach myself from it and do the job. I'm a big fan of the Minneapolis music scene, and when I get to work with people from Trip Shakespeare or the Jayhawks or people who are in the replacements, it's exciting because these are my favorite bands. All right, what do we need to do? Tell me what to go and where to go. I've been following Peter for a long time. He may have been, even been the first rock concert I ever saw with Sussman Lawrence at the JCC Shulin or whatever it was called. I ended up shooting two days with Peter Himmelman, one at the Cedar Riverside area, and in Cedar Riverside, I just happened to catch, get a picture of him in the street. And I liked the image of Peter in the street. And we were going to try to do something the next day in St. Louis Park, where he's from. And I was inspired by the shot we made the day before of him. So I wanted to bring that concept that we sort of developed the day before to his hometown. And we actually went to his block, where he grew up on, and just tried to do the same thing, a picture of him in the street. I like to travel light. Yeah, so Peter, come closer to me. <clears throat> Eyeballs. Steve keeps the shooting loose and fun. He makes people look famous. Jeff Cross. We got a couple good pictures. You're just invisible space as you dissolve. Steve has shot a lot of my shows, and uh, he did uh, most of the photos for uh, Free Life. I was real lucky that Dan Wilson wanted me to take pictures for his record, Free Life. He saw my pictures that I took at the uh, Mad Ripple Hootenannies at Java Jacks. And there's something in those pictures, a vibe, that he wanted for his record. He invited me over to his house one day to talk. And it, we were, it was really just a meeting to talk about pictures. I didn't even really know why I was there. But he wanted to pick my brain a little bit, and he decided he wanted to use me to create pictures for his record. I just like they're kind of distorted looking. They, they look kind of grainy and messed up. And then I, I like that. I'd prefer that to something that was like super clean and perfect. And he just makes it, I don't know, he just makes things look kind of romantic. Recently I worked with him and his brother Matt Wilson, who did some shows together as a duo. That was very exciting. I think partly it's just people are at ease when they're around him. It's just a very happy fact that he's a very enjoyable person to hang around and then you end up with all these great pictures. It's a really good, you know, combination.
The first time I ever shot the Jayhawks, I couldn't believe how great it was. I remember there was a barricade and everyone was behind the barricade, but I was allowed to be in front of it. And I couldn't believe how good of a sound these guys made with this guy on guitar and the way they would sing together. There was this one moment where Mark lifts his guitar in the air and I remember seeing something like that in a Bob Dylan book where Bob Dylan also had his guitar in the air and I knew that's a shot because I saw Bob Dylan do it. And that's ended up being uh, one of the pictures of mine that stood the test of time of the Jayhawks. In recent months, it just so happened that the situations aligned where I ended up working with the band. And it's great because they rehearsed and it was just the five members of the band and I was there with them documenting coming back together to play these shows. As a photographer, uh, I've watched his career kind of go up and uh, I think he's outstanding and he has a way of being there and not being there, which is an art form in itself, just being able to take photos and know how to direct things but stay out of the way and get great, the best out of people and make them feel comfortable in it. TPT, can you move from there? Thanks. Two more minutes. This is pretty cool. There are people in this place on every side. Yeah, there are people in this place on every side. He's, it's very funny because uh, he's very uncomfortable about this show about him. He, he doesn't like the thought of being photographed or filmed or asked any questions, which is really funny because it's, it's what he subjects other people to all the time. I'm just nervous in general. I'm not necessarily more uncomfortable now than I am all day long. I think he's just so much more comfortable being, you know, behind the camera and trying to make something really great for people. Sometimes when I step back and think about it, I know I'm living the dream job that I always wanted, but usually, when I'm doing the job, I'm not thinking about how great it is or how cool this band is. When I'm actually working, that's when I'm happy, really happy. So when I'm making pictures, it doesn't matter if it's the most famous guy in the world or just someone and their kids. When I'm making pictures of people, that's what I really enjoy doing. Thank you. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota.